to in invade the jungle. Just look at the uh, heroes of Ren E, bro. How are they gonna protect the jungle lead of Forgotion? Yes, you have an Akai, you have a Minotaur, pero once na mag-collapse yung Sua Execration Punishers, mapupwersa kang lumaban. And it's gonna open up a lot of opportunities for Sua Execration Punishers. Yeah. Yeah. Pero the thing is, nerf yung Minowans. At the same time, kailangan mo pang protektahan yung Kari mo. So yung Hurricane Dance naka-reserve yan para sa pang disengage ng Bren, Bren E Pro. Pero again, mga kaibigan, it all boils down to execution as we head on to our first game ng ating last series of the day, Sua Execration Punishers versus Bren E Pro. And sa side naman ng Sua Execration Punishers, we have Dian on the show. Chak na naman sa Grok, May para sa ating Leomord. Zap na naman sa Selena and Bakbet. Sa Esmeralda. And on the side of Brent Epro, you have Coco sa kanyang Terisla Ribo on the carry Yuji with the Gushion Yel Hayes as the Akai and Pain naman ang nagamit ng Minotaur as we see. So, Execration Punisher Sito, kinokontrol lang yung kaya nila control lane invading the green buff of the Leomord just to limit the level 2 kagad potential mm -hmm. and scaling ng ating Leomord. Kasi once na mag-level 2 si Leomord, pwedeng pwede mo nang iwan yung lane. And what this uh, means is pwedeng gumawa ng movement yung Bren E Pro on the other side of the, the map. Hindi nila kailangan problemahin. Si Kari may promoprotect na namang Minotaur and makikita nyo kagad, bumaba ba kagad yung Bren E Pro kasama si Yuji. Hindi pa siya level 4 dito pero that's gonna be a crab coin kagad na makukuha ng Bren. Hindi. Hindi. Pati ang ganda ng rotation ng Bren E Pro doon, they are able to steal the green on the side of Sua Execration Punishers while that is happening though on the bottom lane. Oh, Yuji trying to run away. Oh, mauna siya ni Sel Selina. They were able to take that one out. Yelly Hayes, medyo na slow siya sa trap but again, with the flicker out from Coco, he will able to run away. But going back to what I mentioned, what I was trying to say earlier, sa top lane, ang ganda ng ikot ng Bren E Pro. Kinuha agad nila yung green, transition to their own green. Yeah. Then, kasi hindi na makakaikot yung ano eh. Hindi na makakaikot yung choice yung Esmeralda sa middle lane. Oh, Coco, in the bottom lane, medyo mamatay. Pero Chak na dito, napapanish siya with the damage of the Akai alongside the Thousand Pounder. Pero again, you've mentioned yung invasion ng yeah. Sua Execration Punishes. Nasa loob kagad sila ng jungle ng Bren E Pro. And mamamatay si Daddy Yuji. That's gonna be a kill for Esmeralda. And si Pain, sabi niya rito, magkahabol ako ng isang kill. Unfortunately, walang damage yung Bren E Pro with Harp. On this, Sua Execration Punishers, napakataas ng invasion capability nila. In-invade na yung green buff ni Leomon kanina. I-invade naman natin yung blue buff ng Bren E. Pro. And now, level 5 na si Pakbet. And that's because of the beautiful rotation sa ginawa ng Suha kanina. Nakita natin nung ninakaw yung green buff ni Leomord. Si Leomord pumunta kagad ng mid. Kinuha yung kanyang level 3, bumaba, pinatay si Yuji. Binigay nila yung mid lane kay Pakbet. That's why sobrang aga ng level 5 ng Pakbet dito. Actually, mag-level 6, level 6 so, na siya. So, sobrang taas ng XP advantage ng Sua Execration Punishers ngayon. Pati ang ganda ng pagkaka-delegate ano, pagkaka ng mga experience nila. Kasi may kikita mo, yung iba level 3 pa lang, speaking of, Si Pain kakakuha lang yung level 4. He's already charging up his rage. Oh my God. Pero makakahuli si Pakbet. Makakahuli si Pakbet. One down again sa side ng Bren E. Pro. Ito yung sinasabi natin na sobrang tagal eh. Ang hirap mo... Kailangan hindi sayang yung ano, Minoan's Fury mo pag yung bagong patch ngayon ng, ano, ng, ng Minotaur. Yeah, 52 seconds yung Minoan's Fury. So wala pang Minoan yung Bren E. Pro ngayon pero nandito si Yuji. Dito damage on Dian pero hindi pa siya napapatay. Hurricane okay, down. Dance. Hurricane Dance though, locking down the show. Pero eto na, si Ang Esmeralda na napakasakit nung kanyang sayaw-sayaw. Pain dito, susunod pa, tumatalon and mabubuhay siya. Pero Pakbet taking so much damage, napatay pa ng barrier si Minotaur. Ang galing nun. Ah, talagang alam nila kung kailan sila papasok at kung kailan, kung kailan sila hindi papasok. They're just trying to uh, kite out eh. Kung yung AOE ng Power of Nature should be enough. And also yung ginamit niya rin yung Guardians Barrier para kung sakaling mabuhay siya, hindi hindi siya makakatakas. And also nice rotation from Sua Execration Punishers. They're able to capitalize their jungle area and also giving space for Selena. Yeah. Sua Execration Punishers. Oh, <laughs> pinatay ni Grok. Si Kuya Yuji, mga kaibigan, ano na top lane, again, invasion under the tower. Hindi pa natin napag-uusapan ito. Ang ganda Sobrang naman ang Wigan Dance. Ang juggle capability ng Sua Execration Punishers under the, the uh, turrets. Mm -hmm. Pero napakagandang Hurricane Dance nga ni Akai. And it allowed him to save the carry from that engagement. Pero hindi pa tapos yung Sua Execration Punishers. This is actually beautiful. Kin pinapatay lang nila yung wave mm -hmm. sa likod ng tore para mas maaga yung pag-clear nila ng wave. And makakaharap ng ibang rotations yung uh, ibang heroes ng Sua Execration Punishers. Pero mas mukhang gusto nila yung objectives. Natuto na yung Sua Execration Punishers dito. Oh, it's all about objectives. Cutting out the wave is sobrang importante. Kasi soon. it's really difficult to last hit inside the Tier 1 turret. Pero kapag nakat mo na yung lanes, sure agad yun na makukuha at makukuha mo yung Tier 1 turret. Map advantage. Oh, oh that oh! Oh! From Zapno, mga kaibigan, patay! Hindi mo pala nakatakbo pa. And there pa. you go, mamamatay na si Teresa Esmeralda pa yung kukuha ng kinlayon. Guardians Barrier just to limit 
the uh, re-engage ng Bren E Pro pero wala rin sila sa pwesto. It is gonna be a turtle take from Sua Execration Punishers and makakakontest ba ang Bren E Pro? Jack Nu is charging up the power of nature. Tinamaan ng Aros Yakai pero it's just gonna be short pero the amount of damage from that Selena is just so high. Si Dian naipit. Naipit. Ika nga si Dian. And nakuha ni Esmeralda yung turtle. Pain was not in the position to get the Mino One's Fury and wala rin naman kasi siyang kakampi doon so Bren E Pro hindi nila makakontest 3k gold lead for Sua Execration Punishers it's gonna be another objectives already Mino One's Fury pero asan yung follow-ups damage Yuji nilabas na yung Shadow Mix Daughter pero hindi enough and si Neil papabalik si Minotaur that's gonna be a kill for the Leo Mord Guardians Barrier pero hindi na magpapollow up the arrow will not hit pero napakindang setup mula sa Sua Execration Punishers yung Falling Star Moon and also the Way of the Dragon combination able to isolate the core here ay yung, yung tank hero ng Bren E Pro ganun lang sila kabilis yung aggression na pinapakita ng Sua Execration uh, Punishers from the early game na controlling the jungle area of Bren E Pro is napakalaking advantage nila ngayon sobrang As bilis na kalamit ni Reaper mula sa Selina 5 minutes 47 seconds na kuha niya na kagad. so the amount of burst damage from Zapnu it is gonna be so high kung sino man yung talon na niya expect mm. na matutunaw yung hero na yon kahit Minotaur pa yan wala silang pakialam Backbet on the bottom lane contesting three heroes. The arrow will hit, pero nandun sa likuran si Koko. He's controlling two lanes right now. Dalawa yung kino control na lane ng Suha. Hapa nag form yung Liamord sa top lane. So all three lanes are shoved in under Bren E Pro. They they will try to contest, pero si Goshen on the bottom lane free form free form lang muna. Selina though. Hindi natin siya nababansin for the past few minutes pero kanina pa siya kumukuha ng resources. Hindi ito yung usual gameplay na nakikita natin from Selena. Usually talagang nangi-invade yet. Siya yung nasa harapan, siya yung nasa mukha nyo. Pero right now, alam niya na enough na pressure na si Cho at si Grok. So kinukuha niya lahat ng resources sa side ng Sua Excretion Punishes. That's why they are able to amass so much gold lead here. 6k already, 1k wow. per minute. Ah, okay. So Selena went for a hunting uh, hunter's knife. Yeah. Calamity Reaper. And I think he will go for another uh, life steal item here. But again, you mentioned earlier, nagko farm na nagko farm na si Selena. Alam niya na hindi niya kailangan mag overcommit o sumama at the moment sa two extra punishes with their initiation. Kasi alam niya na hindi pa enough yung ka yung defense capability ng Brain Epro for now. Diyan, diyan. He gets the kill on the terrace, lang mga kaibigan, mama matay na. Si Kuya Coco dito and that's another kill going in favor of Sua at Secretion Punishers 9-1. Hindi kayo na nalagirit mga kaibigan Sua at Secretion Punishers. They're leading 8 kills right now against Bren E Pro. Pero ang kailangan nila dito, kailangan nila i-maintain yung ganitong klaseng aggression. Again, you don't want to fight late game against Akari. Yeah. Especially, well yung ginawa nilang rotation ngayon is exactly on point. Taking down every outer turrets from Bren E Pro and also securing the turtle. Pangatlong turtle take na to ng Suha Isagrate yung Punishers. Ang laki ng gold advantage nila. Looking at the net worth lead, almost 8,000 8, net worth lead for Suha Isagrate yung Punishers and they're not done yet. Yeah. Now na meron ng turtle buff si Esmeralda, he can just go in, hit the damage yeah. and also the Stardust Dance. Well, uh, well na nerf nga siya when it comes to shield, pero... There is also a possibility that they can get 100% shield for Esmeralda. Again, my friends, the capping of 50% is just in the shield that she has. Unicell, Unicell Stardust. Yeah, 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 from Selena and looking at it right now yung resource control ng Sua Execration Punishers walang ma-farm yung Bren E Pro kundi yung dumarating lang ng minion waves and this has been the problem of carry for the longest time since nabuo yung ML mga kaibigan <laughs> kung nasa base ka saan magpa-farm si carry ayun ang mahirap well alam ng ano, Sua Execration Punishers na itong carry yung, mag, yung magdadala when it comes to late game so ang ganda ng control again the jungle control walang blue na nakuha ang Bren E Pro and it's all been taken out by Sua Execration Punishers but looking at napakagandang Guardians Barrier isolating two enemy oh lords ni Garito tinamaka ng para pero that's the Akai medyo makunat yan Yelly Haze pero oh. still that is very scary for Bren E Pro again just look at the map all lanes although yung bottom lane na nababala na out na two lanes are being shoved in by Sua Execration Punishers Dian pumasok na sa lakap pero masyado siya makunat pero mapapatay pa rin siya ni Yuji with the incandescence double combination Minoan's Fury asa yung follow pumasok na si Pakbet that's 
the Esmeralda. Subukan yung patayin si Lina, mapapatay si Terizla. And that's Coco down, Pakbet. Buhay na buhay pa rin with the Shields of Stardust. Oras lang. Another shield for Pakbet. Tatlo pa yung sinipan wow. niya. And subukan niya ako patayin. Yuji tries to burst down the Leon. Oh. Pero meron muna tayong pause. Tagang makabawi when it comes to team fight. And ito na, nagbabalik mga kaibigan ang ating game. As Bren E. Pro, they're trying their best. To show two execution punishers away from their own base, pero walang pakaelab ang punishers. They're gonna take the second turret ng Bren Ipro. Isa na lang yun at itira para sa side ng Bren. And I do have to comment yung ginawa ni Pakbet don. Once the pumasok nakita niyan tumalon si Pain on the Minotaur, and he committed the Minoman's Fury. Pumasok agad siya. Hindi na naghesitate. Sabi niya, sige, sa sa yung ko kayo. Apat yung tinamaan niya, sinipsipan niya lahat Although late na siya dahil patay na si Dian The thing is, it could have been a disaster for Sue Execution Punishes Kung umabot yung burst damage yung negosyon Pero again, si Pakbet sabi niya, op! Bawal yung pasok, hit na lang, dyan lang kayo Pati yung, yung exchange na yun eh Well, I can give my life for for a very uh, oh, nice Yuji, exchange He's trying to contest the lore take of Sue Execution Punishes Pero the amount of threat na pwedeng ibato ng Punishers, yung Barbiel pa nga lang problema Ako. na yung Pana pa, pati yung Guardian's Barrier. He was forced to use the Incandescent Usage there and wala pa siyang another core item dito. Mm. Clock of Destiny pa lang yung meron siya. He's trying his best to build up the Lightning, Lightning Truncheon. Truncheon pero I don't think that's gonna be enough. Sobrang kunat na ng mga heroes ng Sua Execution Punishers dito. Siguro pwede niya ma-burst down yung Selena and ayun na nga, kompleto na yung Truncheon pero kailangan niya pang problemahin Si Esmeralda rito. Tumama na naman yung pana ni Zabno rito. Sabi niya, Ribo, halika. Sandali lang. Dito ka muna. Pero ang Sue Execration Paris, maraming kumakatok na unti-unti silang uma-advance. They're, well, they're trying to keep an eye on this tier 3 turret para sa bottom lane. Pero mahirap dyan si Esmeralda sa top lane. E nagka-cut din. Mahirap dyan kapag nagka-cut yan at tumama yung kanyang falling star moon, automatic mag-co-commit yung Bren Epro. And look. now the Lord is already marching in inside. Ayan na! Tirahin na ang base na Riz na dito with the setup Pero Star Wars! Holy Star Wars! Holy Mino! Ang Spirit Kinamit ni Pain though Pero isn't it gonna be enough? Pakbet! Isolation from the Hurricane Dance! Napakaganda ang Hurricane Dance Mula kay Akai Pero 1-4-1 trade-up pa lamang yan mga kaibigan Araw hindi tumama pero Coco Soaking up so much damage from the Leomord And the base is... The base is makukuha ng Sua Execration Punishers Walang sagot Ang Bren E Pro and Sua Execration Punishers They take The first game away from Bren E Pro. Wow, tol. Ano alam mo yung perfect game? Parang ganon. Kasi kita mo lahat ng mapa, lahat ng as for them to catch out, and also yung rotation ng Swag Series para just really on point and wow, ang ganda.